So, hello everyone. This is Shell from Shell's Creative Designs. Thank you for stopping by my channel. If this is your first time here, I hope you enjoy my content. Um, today, I am actually going to do something um, I've never done before. So, as you guys can see, is I purchased a Rakoma EM1010 which is a 10 needle embroidery machine. I've had it for a few weeks now and I have really enjoyed having it. Um, so, so far so good. I will say that it has been a true learning experience um, considering that the, challenge, the uh, training that you do receive um, from Rakoma, um, if you're not in a actual location where you can Sorry about that. If you're not in a location where you can um, go to the training, which is in California, Florida. I live in North Carolina, so of course I could not go to the in-person training, so I did the Zoom. Um, to me, it was a lot, a lot more complicated. So, um, Thanks to Angela Jasmina and other YouTubers as well as TikTokers, I have learned a great deal on how to do different things with my machine. So today, long story short, we're going to try some applique for the first time. I am going to be using this colorful fabric that I purchased from the Dollar Tree. It came out of the... Crafters square section. Can this camera? Hold on, let's see something. Move the light. And as you guys see, it looks like paint splashes. I think it's pretty cute. Um, the design that I'll actually be doing today is um, pray every day. So, um, you guys will see a little more of what that looks like. I'm sorry, I'm sitting here balling this up if I just pressed it. Alright, so without further ado, we're going to get started. I already have my shirt ready. Um, it has been hooped. This is the C-clamp, which is basically, I think, a 7 um, point... Hold on, let me not tell y'all wrong. It is a 7.4 by 5 by 5. And so um, this will be a pray everyday design. I did get the word pray from Creative Fabrica. And I also downloaded the um, Aerolite um, embroidery font from Creative Fabrica as well. And I combined those letters together. To form the word every day. So that's the only part I did was every day. I did get the design itself from Creative Fabrica. So let's get started. Alright, so here is the design that we will be uploading, or uh, that we have uploaded. As I said before, the prey I downloaded from Creative Fabrica, the applique um, download. And the everyday I did using some letters and brought them together. So we're going to see how this goes. I'm not even going to lie um, because I'm used to purchasing files from Z Digitizing or Creative Fabrica or wherever. And it comes with a PDF form that tells you the order in which it's going to stitch. That way you know um, which colors to choose. So with that being said... I have I have no idea which one is stitching first with this. So we're going to see. All right. I already have the shirt in our machine, as you can see here. And we'll get started in just a moment. All right. So let's go ahead and lock the design. Excuse my nails, I know they're blistered right about now. Alright, so the light has turned green, so that means it is ready. Excuse me for my camera moving. Alright, so let's go. Alright, 
All right. Let's see what it's going to stitch first. So let's stop because it is doing the wrong color for that. I actually wanted that to be in the color pink. So we're going to alternate and we're going to do nine, nine, and nine. And then the last will be the color four, which is white. All right. So now that we've got it settled. Let me get my scissors. To get a piece of white off, I'm gonna have to re-thread that needle. Waiting on it to do a stop so that I can apply the fabric. I can see on that Y, that's where the stitch had broke and I had to re-thread my needle and it messed it up. So I'm going to be very careful whenever I cut um, this down. I've done all the cutting and the trimming. I am going to do, we're going to see how it turns out. So far, I've been like doing pretty good. Covering up my mess. I need to go over with a lint roller. And this Y is what I'm scared about, but I'm praying that everything works out. The applique portion is almost done. I was worried about that Y, and little do I know, or did I know, the Y went down just fine. Um. And I know I didn't cut out the inside of that P, R, and that A. And I did that on purpose because, I don't know, I just wanted to. And plus, I was a little scared to even bother with cutting the inside of the letters. I think I'll speak to doing applique on numbers. See all that trimming I got to do? I had to get better with that. Alright, so do we see my mistake? I most certainly will have to cut some threads. <laughs> it's like it took these lines here. And they're actually putting them there. Generally, they don't show up. But hey, all I gotta do is cut the thread. It'll be okay. See how it's jumping around. So placing each letter on in the way that I place them um, into the Green. So the next time I have to make sure that I put each letter in order. Because the same way that I put them into, inserted them into invert, like I put in the E, and then I duplicated the E, then I did the um, V and the R, and then I went back and got the Y and see it jumped all the way over there. And so next it'll do the next Y, I'm almost certain. And then I think it'll do the D and the A and the Y. Yep, I was right. I told you. So it's doing it in the order. So now I know from that 
that whenever I'm spelling out a word, that I start we have to insert each letter in in, in the um, order in which it is spelled. Alright, so it should be finishing up. Looks like sound like I'm just in time. It's finished. So we're gonna check it out and see what it looks like. So let's turn this off. Hold on. I'm gonna turn off this ring light because you cannot see. We got a few things to clean up, but once I clean it up, it's gonna actually look pretty good. Still can't see good. Let me see. Okay, we're just going to have to add a picture at the end of the video because you can't see me. And it looks a hot mess. So we're not going to worry about that, right? Alright, so I'll be back. Let me trim it up. As you can see, those are the few of the areas where my trimming wasn't as good but hey we live and we learn right still looks good and is wearable all right and here we go placement could have been up a little bit higher but it's okay. It works. Thanks you guys for watching. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Make sure you like this video. And I'll see you guys the next time. Thanks.